Hello and welcome to another mix-up. In today's mix-up, <laughs> sorry about that. Today's mix-up is going to be Summit sparkling non-alcoholic root beer made with pure cane sugar. Because you know I only buy the pure cane sugar soda pops. Showing three barrels. Got a great Best Buy date. 160 calories. 12 ounce bottle. All these twice as nice guarantee. Item replaced and money refunded. So they give you a new product and your money back. But it's going to be great. If it's as good as the Summit ginger beer, it's going to be great. Ingredients. Carbonated water. Pure cane sugar. Sodium benzoate, a preservative. Citric acid. Natural and artificial flavors. Ooh, just Distributed and sold exclusively by Aldi. Okay, so I bought this at Aldi along with the ginger beer, the Summit ginger beer, and they were $2.79 per four pack. They had a sale that day, $2.79 per four pack. So about 70 cents per bottle, and that's a great deal this day and age. Okay. Smells like root beer. Smells like mug root beer. Okay. Introduce 2011. It's uh, brown. Very dark brown like a root beer tends to be. So it's not all natural because there is artificial flavoring. Of course, since what 1961, no American root beer, root beer has been real root beer because um, the United States government determined during the Eisenhower administration determined that sassafras was toxic and could kill you. So uh, you know, over time repeated and some people drink root beer every day so they outlawed starting in 1961 banned the use of sassafras roots for the root beer so they had to use other the root beer companies they did have advance notice about this coming down so they had to <clears throat> develop alternative flavor rings to mimic the original, so that's why they do use artificial flavor, it's not the real thing, but um, and natural flavors in this. So, by the time the Kennedy administration was in place, the root beer is, is the new format root beer. Now, you can get sassafras leaves at the grocery store pulverized in a little canister. McCormick, let's see, does McCormick make that? I don't, Louisiana. Cajun Chef makes it, Louisiana brand. There's a few brands, uh, and they call it filet. It's a French word, filet. And they people sprinkle it on uh, gumbo, use it for other things, I guess, but mainly gumbo. So I, I would imagine if you continue using it, it may not be safe. All right. And if you read the ingredients on the back of the canister, it says, ingredients, colon, sassafras leaves that's it all right so this is awesome this root beer is awesome i'm gonna go with 96 out of 100 9.6 out of 10 it's that good now here's the mix-up vadovska introduced in 2015 four years after the summit triple distilled sugarcane vodka so it's mexican sugarcane vodka produced in mexico with pure sugarcane juice it's distilled three times and then they filter it through charcoal 10 times. They drip it through charcoal, then they drip it a second time, third, and so forth 10 times to purify it. It's imported, obviously, from Mexico. It's uh, produced for Dubai Island International Corporation of Brownsville, te Texas. But it is produced in Mexico. So I found this. Now, it's a nice-looking label. It's, it's plastic, but I didn't see glass. But they got a brown cap brown banner here brown crown brown and silver crown they've got two shades of blue two shades of red 
white and silver. So um, it was $7.99 at International Market. $7.99 for this handle bottle, this huge 1,750 milliliter bottle. Sounds too good to be true, but that's the price. They still have a few bottles left. I don't know if the price is the same. Okay, so how does it smell and taste? It's, it smells fine and it tastes fine and it smells and tastes like clear rum. White rum, silver rum as people call it. Nice alcohol eggs. All right. But I think when I was re reading objections to it, people didn't like it, the reviews on Total Wine and more, because they sell it too at wherever location has it in stock. It has a strong sugar cane stalk nose. So the nose is sugar cane stalks, which that they'll when they squeeze all the juice out and they load all the stalks up on the big it's like a big basket on the back of an eighteen wheeler, you know, in the, the trailer. And they bring it to the refinery, the sugar plant, they burn the stalks to make fire to cook the sugar cane, or they pulverize the stalks to make siding for houses, boards, particle board from the sugarcane stalks. They're very tough, that cane. And they also, there was an article in the paper on the internet about the, there's a university somewhere, I think, in collaboration with a big industrial firm, and they're talking about making sugarcane stalks into, uh, turning it into, a, uh, what did they say? It would have been very, if they said it would be very cost effective, like um, insulation or something. I can't remember, but that was the, but the stalks are called bagasse. That's a French word, bagasse. But when you smell it, it like if it's out in the sun, like today, if it was out in the sun for about three or four hours, it would start to ferment and rot. And we thought as a kid, it smelled like bad gas. It was, uh, we would say bad gas. And we would cover our faces, you know, but um, it does have a little bit of that now. So that could obviously be objectionable. And you say, well, vodka has no aroma. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be, but this one does have aroma. And it's the sugarcane stalk. So this is a what you would call a non-standard vodka, which is probably why it's seven ninety nine. All right, at that store in Metairie, Louisiana, Taste Chuz. Now the flavor is geared toward neutral, but it is not neutral because it's sugar. It tastes like, well, sugarcane juice. Uh, or it's similar to white rum. It's not totally lined up with that. Uh, white rum is made from uh, molasses, which is a byproduct of sugar production, you know, cane, uh, crystallized sugar production. But uh, yeah, it's kind of in that realm. So if you like white rum, and you like vodka, and you and you have a spirit of adventure, and you want to try something a little bit strange, try Vodovska. You may like it. Now, do they make other sugarcane vodkas? More than likely, they do. If there's one out there, there's probably more than one. Um, that's the only one I'm familiar with, and I've never seen it in my town, ever. All right, now how's it going to mix up? I think it's going to work out. So Vodovska, I'll score it at 85. Vodovska, 8.5 out of 10. Um, good. It's good. Nothing... Tremendous, but uh, yeah, good. Okay, let's check out the mix up. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice cocktail. <laughs> we call this a, this cocktail is called. A vodka summit, a vodka root beer summit, a vodka root beer summit. Ah, the peak of enjoyment. Um, I scored about a 91, 9.1 out of 10. An excellent mix up, A minus, excellent, getting into excellent, and I'm going to end this review by. 
I'm in this refrigerator. Squeals. <laughs> but I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Mexico and take a sugarcane vodka distillery tour.